gotta start some point. It's so hot. I don't think anyone else is out there. No, oh, there's like two. It always seems like we get a couple people come in late. Good evening. Welcome to the 2023 Brooklyn Family and Athletics Awards Ceremony. Before we get started with the awards portion, I just wanted to congratulate all of you on an incredibly successful season on, in competition, in the classroom, and as a part of the WNL and Lexington community. Um, now I'd like to welcome our Director of Athletics, Jan Hathorn, to the podium. That was really short. <laughs> Thank you, Sydney. Let's hear it for Sydney, our Director of Athletics Communications. Everybody wants to know where is Scout? <laughs> uh, good evening, everyone. It's great to see you. I love this event. Um, and I do have a few remarks. As we prepare to celebrate all you have achieved, I want to take a few minutes to share a few thoughts about this year in athletics. Um, for me, one of the most important aspects of your performances this year was your conduct. How well you represented Washington and Lee and yourselves in all that you did. You demonstrated class, grace, and respect. And it was impressive and it set you apart from your competitors. But there's another important aspect of you that I noticed. What I noticed is your heart. There's a quote that so, sort of sums up what I'm getting at. The quote's author is unknown, and here's what it says. They measured my weight, they measured my heart, but they never measured, or they measured my height, but they never measured my heart. Let me say that again. They measured my weight, they measured my heart, height, but they never <laughs> measured my heart. Let's just keep moving. But they never measured my heart, right? Like, they never measured my heart. Heart, it's a word that points to the core of our being, to our soul. And it's also one of the words we associate with love. In sport, heart is the big intangible. It's the X factor. I'm not sure how to measure it, but I'm sure that it's often the key difference between good and great. And I'll bet almost everyone in here has witnessed someone practicing or performing with heart and knew what it was when you saw it. When it's all said and done, I don't know how to measure heart, but I know what it looks like when I see someone competing with a big heart. People who play with heart are playing from deep within themselves. Over and over, I saw you compete with heart, and that heart embodies the spirit of why you, why we, why all of us do this thing called college sport. Because deep in our hearts, we love it. And as I think back on this year, I saw you competing for the love of the sport, for the love of your coaches and teammates. It was incredible and it was inspirational. And in so doing, you modeled something that is very important. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. How did you compete? With class, grace, respect, and a lot of heart. An immeasurably large heart. It makes me proud and I hope it makes you proud too. Thank you for all you've done and congratulations on another um, remarkable year. Give yourselves a round of applause. There's a lot of excellent end of year information to share and you will be learning about all of that in the remainder of the ceremony, but there are a few numbers I want to rattle off. As of today, we have 632 student athletes, 376 men's sport athletes, 256 women's sport athletes, and 54 multi-sport athletes. 413 of you achieved WNL Scholar Athlete status, which is a 3.5 GPA or better. In the fall term, 413 of you. 400 of you in the winter term. That's pretty amazing. But here's the even more amazing part. 31 of you had a 4.0 in both terms. That's astounding. Congratulations. And why it's astounding is because all of you, at some point or another, have heard me emphasize the primacy of, a, of student and student athlete. And you have once again exceeded expectations academically. 
So congratulations, and let's get rolling with this, this uh, ceremony. So if you'll turn your attention to the screen, we're excited to show you the year in review video highlighting all of your accomplishments this year.
Pretty awesome. Two more things. I'm pleased to announce that WNLs won the ODAC Commissioner's Cup for overall excellence for the 21st consecutive year. Lock on. We also won the Women's Cup for the 20th straight year. Congratulations. Now I'll turn the podium over to Christine Clancy, Director of PE, to announce the Physical Education Department Award. Hello, uh, members of the WNL community, it's my pleasure to present the Richard Miller Physi Physical Education Award. Established in 1984, the Richard Miller PE Award is presented annually to a WNL student who has demonstrated excellence of performance in physical education classes and has completed their PE requirement. Recent recipients of the scholarship award include Todd Eccles, awarded in 2022, and Bruce Tickner, awarded in 2021. This year's recipient of the Richard Miller Physical Education Department Award is Jacopo Scagliotti. Uh, members of the WNL community, it's my pleasure to present the J.L. Lefty Newell Award. Established in 1984, the Lefty Newell Award is presented annually to a non-playing student who has served WNL teams as an, as an outstanding volunteer and contributed to the success of those teams. Recent recipients of this prestigious award include Joshua Valdez, class of 2022, and Austin Lee, class of 2021. This year's recipient of the Lefty Newell Award was a four-year volunteer student assistant coach for the women's basketball team. For the past four seasons, she helped run the clock and film during practice and was responsible for assisting with food orders during travel, from collecting and placing food orders and arranging for pickup and other operational logistics for the team. According to head coach Christine Clancy, she has shown her commitment to the team by contributing her thoughts and ideas in team meetings and supporting her teammates on and off the court. This year's J.L. Lefty Newell Award winner is Hannah Wendell. To, uh, I'm pleased and honored uh, to present the 2023 R.E. Chubb Yackel Service Award. This award was established in 1986 and presented annually to the individual within the university community who has made outstanding contributions to the Department of Athletics and Physical Education. Recent recipients of this prestigious award include former ba baseball coach Jess Stickley, former soccer coach Neil Cunningham, and athletics custodian Sheila Campbell. This year's recipient of the Chubb Yackel Award has served the university in a variety of capacities since arriving on our campus in 1973. During his 50 years of service, our honoree has spent time coaching men's lacrosse, women's lacrosse, and football. In addition to coaching, our honorees served as both the Director of Physical Education and the Assistant Director of Athletics, where he was responsible for the finances, facilities, and operations for the department. After he retired from full-time duties for the department, we have continued to benefit from his knowledge and his dedication to coaching as, as he continues to serve as a volunteer coach for the men's lacrosse team and will certainly play a role in their victory this weekend at Salisbury. So, you guys are supposed to be a bit more rousing than that. <laughs> Teach them, everybody. Um, uh, so our honoree is no stranger to accolades, having been in inducted 
to both the Denison w and WNL Athletic Hall of Fame and into the Ohio and Maryland and the Cross Club Hall of Fames as well. Head men's lacrosse coach Gene McCabe sums it all up with he is simply the greatest mentor and representation of what service to others is all about. With that said, I am pleased to present the 2023 R.E. Chubb Yakel Award to Chuck O'Connell. Many of you may have seen me on the sidelines interviewing players and coaches after the games. And if there's one particular trait I've noticed in the student athletes at Washington and Lee, it's the ability to appreciate and recognize talent when they see it. Well, now is your chance to have your voices heard. These next two awards will be decided by you. At the end of the video, there will be a QR code on the screen. Scan it with your phones, cast your votes, and see who you believe is the most deserving. Now, without further ado, the nominees for Play of the Year are Generals Baseball for their 4-6-3 triple play against Mary Baldwin University, building on their five-game home win streak. Julia Hetzel of the women's golf team with a final round score of two under par in the ODAC tournament. Hetzel not only secured the individual conference title, but she was also the only player in the whole field to score under par. Generals field hockey for their overtime goal against the University of Lynchburg to win the ODAC championship for the second year in a row. And finally, men's soccer for their game-winning goal against Roanoke College in the ODAC Finals. With just 40 seconds left on the clock, the Generals took a 2-1 lead to bring home the seventh ODAC championship title in program history. Please direct your attention to the screen so we can all experience these phenomenal plays once more. of plays, some great and some not so great, but they all lead up to that one special moment. That moment when you feel all the hard work, dedication, and sacrifices have truly paid off. And with that being said, the nominees for Moment of the Year are 
Women's basketball, bringing home the ODAC championship title for the first time in 13 years. Generals wrestling, securing the first ever ODAC tournament team title since the league renewed the sports sponsorship earlier this year. Women's lacrosse and their 16 to five upset over number two ranked Tufts University. And finally, men's lacrosse and their win this past weekend against Grove City College to advance to the NCAA quarterfinals. Now, let's relive these moments one more time and together cheer on our fellow generals. Special recognitions for you while you, if you're still voting, keep moving, as in go ahead and keep voting. Um, as it's been announced, we, we want to thank the Brookby, Brookby family for their generous support of this award ceremony. Former student athletes Harry Brookby, class of 1966, his brother Bo, class of 1972, and their mother, Mrs. Harry Brookby, gave a generous gift to WNL Athletics as an expression of their love and appreciation for the university and to honor what WNL Athletics meant to them and their family throughout their lives. Their gift helped sponsor this event. The Brookbees cannot be here this evening, so let's thank them with a generous round of applause. In the category of we can't do it without you, um, we use that mantra for all the people in our department, all of our colleagues who make things go. They do all the behind the scenes work to make sure you're able to practice and compete every day. 
Most of them dislike public recognition, but hear me say this. They take great pride in you, so they take great pride in their work because of the way that you represent Washington and Lee. Please turn your attention to the screen so that we can recognize these important people. Administrative assistants Denise Bachelor and Carolyn Mayo. <laughs> Certified athletic trainer Josh Williamson. Katie Shank, Janelle Kratz, and Brian Duclos. Equipment and Facilities Maintenance Crews. Outdoor Crews. Tom Mays, Tim Hill, Matthew Nicely, John Roberts, and J.B. Harris. Indoor Crew. Mike Kelka, Debbie Brown, Garfield Garrison, William Hicks, Susie Higgins, Courtney Coffey, and Stephen Wright. Student uh, Strength and Conditioning Fitness Center. Aaron and Patty And to the people who make this event and all that record-setting statistical work possible through their tireless efforts, our Athletics Communication Office. Director Sidney Anderson, Associate Director Will Wallace. Athletic Broadcaster and Multimedia Creative Specialist Ryan Connell and John Cole. One more round of applause for those. And now I turn the podium over to Bethany Danley, Associate Prof Director of Athletics. How's everybody doing? All right, it's my pleasure to present the Wing Glasgow Spirit and Sportsmanship Award. This was established in 1959, and it's presented annually to the WNL senior who has demonstrated the highest qualities of true WNL spirit and sportsmanship. It's the embodiment of what it means to be a general. Recent recipients of this prestigious award include Aaron Addison, class of 2022, and Aaron Hughes, assistant women's basketball coach, and class of 2021. Please direct your attention to the screen for the announcement of our award finalists and our Wink Glasgow Spirit and Sportsmanship Award winner. The finalists for the 2023 Wink Glasgow Spirit and Sportsmanship Award are Kaylee Fitzgerald, field hockey, Terry Phillips, women's basketball, Sheck Teray, men's basketball. This year's recipient of the Wink Glasgow Spirit and Sportsmanship Award is a native of Silver Spring, Maryland, and is a four-year letter winner of the men's basketball team. On the court, he has played an integral role in the team's success over his four seasons. He's played in 58 career games, making 10 starts, and averaging over nine minutes per game while adding 3.1 points per contest. He scored a career-best 16 points in a 101-73 win over William Peace in his junior campaign. And this past season, he helped the team to an 18-8 overall record with an 11-5 mark in conference play. Off the court, he has served as president of the Diversified Capital Group, WNL's first minority-run investment fund, which is focused on closing the access gap for diverse students who are interested in learning about finance and how to invest. He's also involved in several WNL initiatives, including the Athletic Department's RISE panel and the Leading Lives of Consequence series, in addition to volunteering at Campus Kitchen and with the Rockbridge Habitat for Humanity. His coach Chris McHugh describes him as a high-character leader that exemplifies an elite work ethic and commitment to the program and someone who is a very supportive teammate. This year's Wink Glasgow Spirit and Sportsmanship Award recipient is senior men's basketball player Sheck Ture. Dean T come up to present the Outstanding First Year Athlete Awards. Good evening, WNL community members. It is my pleasure to present the Outstanding First Year Athlete Awards. Established in 1960, the Outstanding First Year Athlete Awards are presented annually to a men's sport athlete and a women's sport athlete showing the most athletic ability 
through their participation in varsity sports. Attitude, spirit, and sportsmanship are emphasized in selecting the recipient. Recent men's sports recipients include Waymi Adbe Egbe, class of 2022, and Jack Dontremont, class of 2021. Recent women's sports recipients include Leticia Rogner, class of 2022, and Caitlin Gamble, class of 2021. Please direct your attention to the screen for the announcement of our award finalists and the 2023 Men's Sport Recipient Outstanding First Year Athlete Award. The finalists for the Outstanding First Year Men's Sport Athlete Award are Dalton Job, Men's Swimming, Will Joseph, Men's Soccer, Evan Langhammer, Men's Track and Field. This year's Men's Sport recipient of the Outstanding First Year Athlete Award is a native of Henrico, Virginia, and had a sensational season with the men's swimming team. His rookie campaign saw him go undefeated in dual meets in the 200 and 500 free and set numerous program and ODAC records along the way. He garnered five ODAC Swimmer of the Week nods while establishing new program best marks in the 500 free, 200 IM, and 400 IM. His 500 free time of 4 minutes 31.29 seconds broke a program record that stood for the last 15 years. At the ODAC Championships, he won four conference titles in the 500 free, 400 IM, 400 free relay, and 800 free relay, while setting ODAC meet records in the 500 free, 400 IM, and 800 free relay. For his efforts, he was named first team all ODAC and ODAC Rookie of the Meet. He later swam at the NCAA Division III Men's Swimming Championships in the 200 IM and 400 IM. On the national stage, he reset the program in ODAC record in the 400 IM throughout the qualifying rounds. In the finals, he once again bested his record in a time of 3 minutes 56.66 seconds to secure a 12th place finish and earn an honorable mention All-America citation. WNL Men's Swimming's first All-American since 2019. After the season, he was named the Vossid Rookie of the Year, first team All-State, and the winner of the WNL Men's Swimming MVP Award. This year's outstanding first year men's sport athlete award recipient is swimmer Dalton Job. Dalton is studying abroad this semester and won't be able to receive his award in person. And now the announcement of the finalists and the winner of the 2023 women's sports recipient of the outstanding first year athlete award. The finalists for the Outstanding First Year Women's Sport Athlete Award are Bailey Hedgman, Women's Track and Field, Lauren Long, Women's Tennis, Mary Sleisner, Women's Basketball. This year's Women's Sport recipient of the Outstanding First Year Athlete Award is a native of Charlotte, North Carolina, and is a member of the women's basketball team. Her impact on the team was immediate as she started all 29 games for the Generals and helped them to their best season in program history. Individually, she averaged 14.2 points per game while grabbing 11.9 rebounds per game and blocking 3.1 shots per contest. She set numerous rebounding records, including the most in a game with 23 and the most in a single season with 344. Her 90 blocks were the second most in a single season and are already sixth most in a career in program history. She helped WNL to its second ODAC championship and first since 2010, while being named the tournament's most outstanding player thanks to a 30-point, 19-rebound, and 5-block performance in the ODAC championship game. Her efforts on the court also helped WNL set 18 program records, including leading Division III in total blocks and blocks per game. Her list of accolades includes Rookie of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, and a first-team citation from both the Old Dominion Athletic Conference and the Virginia Sports Information Directors. She later added D3Hoops.com Region Co-Rookie of the Year and Second Team All-Region Honors. She was a WBCA Honorable Mention All-American and the D3Hoops.com National Rookie of the Year. This year's Outstanding First Year Women's Sport Athlete Award recipient is basketball player Mary Sleisner.
I will now turn the program over to Dr. Sean Kimber, Dean of the College. Hello. It is my pleasure to present the William D. McHenry Scholar Athlete Awards, established in 1986. The McHenry Scholar Athlete Awards are presented annually to a men's sport and women's sport student athlete who has excelled in both the classroom and the field of play. The awardees must have a cumulative GPA of at least 3.5 and must have made outstanding contributions to intercollegiate athletics at WNL. Recent women's sport recipients include Sam Johnson, class of 22, Courtney Berry, class of 21. Recent men's sport recipients include Nick Spagnoletti, class of 22, and Bryce Crew, class of 21. Please direct your attention to the screen for the announcement of our award finalist and the 23 women's sport recipient of the William McHenry Scholar Athlete Award. The finalists for the William McHenry Women's Sports Scholar Athlete Award are Parker Hawk, women's cross country in track and field, Megan Canaby, women's golf, Tess Munesis, field hockey. This year's women's sport recipient of the William McHenry Scholar Athlete Award is a native of Howard County, Maryland, and is a four-year letter winner and 2022 team captain of the field hockey team. She's proven to be one of the best field hockey players in program history, leading the generals to some of their most successful seasons ever. Over her four-year career, she has started all 67 games in the midfield, scoring 31 goals and adding a program-best 27 assists. Her 89 points rank as the seventh most in WNL field hockey history. After earning a third-team All-Odak citation in her rookie campaign, she followed it up with a first-team All-Odak citation in her sophomore season. As a junior, she was named the ODAC Offensive Player of the Year, scoring 14 goals and notching 9 assists for 37 points. She helped WNL win an ODAC championship and reached the quarterfinals of the NCAA tournament for the first time ever. She was later named an NFHCA First Team All-Region selection and was a First Team All-American. This past fall, she followed up with another first team all ODAC selection, which culminated in a second straight ODAC championship and being named first team all region and first team all American for the second time in as many years. Off the field, the economics and mathematics double major has earned the ODAC Field Hockey Scholar Athlete of the Year award in each of the last two seasons while being named an NFHCA Scholar of Distinction all four years. She's also a seven time WNL Scholar Athlete and has been named to the President's List three times. This year's William McHenry Women's Sports Scholar Athlete Award recipient is senior field hockey player Tess Munesis. Gotta love those math majors, sorry. Um. <laughs> And now the announcement of the finalist and the winner of the 2023 Men's Sport Recipient of the William McHenry Scholar Athlete Award. The finalists for the William McHenry Men's Sport Scholar Athlete Award are Harris Hubbard, Men's Lacrosse, Riley Parker, Wrestling, Mitchell Salvino, Baseball. This year's Men's Sport recipient of the William McHenry Scholar Athlete Award is a native of Charlotte, North Carolina, and a member of the baseball team. He's a four-year letter winner and a 2023 team captain. After playing just six games in the spring of 2020, he started all 25 games for WNL in his sophomore season, batting 337 with 33 hits, 24 runs scored, and 18 runs batted in. In his junior season, he started 28 games for the Blue and White while hitting 348 with 23 runs, 5 home runs, and 30 RBIs. He led the Generals in extra base hits with 17, home runs with 5, stolen bases with 7, and RBIs with 30. This spring, he started 31 games for WNL while hitting 344 with 33 runs, 4 home runs, and 22 runs batted in. Once again, he led WNL in a host of offensive numbers, including hits with 44, runs with 33, doubles with 14, triples with 3, stolen bases with 14, and extra base hits with 21. Over his four-year career, he's amassed 90 games played while batting 348 with 126 hits, 83 runs scored, 11 home runs, 71 RBI, and has anchored the WNL defense as the everyday center fielder. Off the field, the integrated engineering major earned the 2023 ODAC Baseball Scholar Athlete of the Year Award, 
also being named a co-sign of First Team Academic All-District honoree in 2022. He's won a physics and engineering departmental scholarship, is a seven-time WNL Scholar Athlete, a three-time ODAC All-Academic Selection, and has been named to the President's List three times. This year's William McHenry Men's Sports Scholar Athlete Award recipient is senior baseball player Mitchell Salvino. spoken let's see what you deemed was the play of the year and the moment of the year I don't congratulations you want to keep zooming Soccer team's uh, 42nd goal in the ODAC championship has been deemed the play of the year and the moment of the year. Congratulations again, men's lacrosse. <laughs> Enjoy the bragging rights. Good evening. I wish y'all could see how good you look from up here. It is really my pleasure to present the Preston R. Brown Most Valuable Athlete Awards. Established in 1954, the Preds Brown Awards are presented annually to the most outstanding and most valuable senior men's sport athlete and senior women's sport athlete. It is awarded to the athletes who excel in sportsmanship and contribute the most to athletics based on their overall performance and proficiency during their college career. Recent men's sports recipients include Joe O'Connor, class of 2022, and William Broodman, class of 2021. Recent women's sports recipients include Sarah Amil, class of 2022, and Landon Shelley, class of 2021. Please direct your attention to the screen for the announcement of our award finalists in the 2023 men's sport recipient of the Prez Brown Award. The finalists for the Press Brown Most Valuable Men's Sport Athlete Award are Michael Kutzen Zira, Men's Soccer, Ryan Luth, Wrestling, Pierce Robinson, Men's Golf. This year's Men's Sport recipient of the Press Brown Most Valuable Athlete Award is a native of Milford, Connecticut, and is a four year letter winner of the wrestling team. He had an immediate impact on the wrestling program since he first stepped on campus back in the fall of 2018. During his rookie season, he went 22-3 on the mat, winning six matches by fall and five more by major decision. As a sophomore, he wrestled to a 24-2 record, including winning the Centennial Conference Championship and the Southeast Regional Championship at 157 pounds to qualify for the NCAA National Championship. The first-team all-conference and first-team all-region wrestler didn't get to compete on the national stage because the championships were canceled due to COVID. Despite that, he was still named a first-team All-American for his efforts during his sophomore campaign. After taking a year off from school, he began his junior season in the fall of 2021 as the top-ranked 157-pound wrestler in the Southeast region and the second-ranked wrestler in his weight class in all of Division III. He went on to post a 32-3 overall record, finishing with the fourth most wins in a season in program history and leading the country with 11 major decision victories. He repeated as the Centennial Conference champ and Southeast Regional champ at 157 pounds to earn first-team all-conference and first-team all-region honors, qualifying for the NCAA National Championship for the second time. He produced a 4-2 record at Nationals to finish fourth overall in his weight class and earn first-team All-America honors the best finish of any WNL wrestler at the national championship in 86 years. In his senior season, he posted a 24-3 overall record and was the ODAC champion at 157 pounds, turned first-team all-ODAC honors while also being named the most outstanding wrestler of the championships. 
On top of winning his third individual conference title, he finished third at the NCAA Southeast Regional, qualifying for the national championship for the third time in his career. At the national championship, he placed fifth overall in his weight class and earned All-America honors for the third time in his career. He finishes his illustrious career with an 101-11 overall record, three individual conference titles, three team conference championships, two Southeast Regional Championships, and the distinction as the only WNL wrestler ever to be a three-time All-American. This year's recipient of the Press Brown Most Valuable Men's Sport Athlete Award is senior wrestler Ryan Luth. recipient of the Prez Brown Award. The finalists for the Press Brown Most Valuable Women's Sport Athlete Award are Megan Canaby, Women's Golf, Tess Munesis, Field Hockey, Ali Schwab, Women's Lacrosse. This year's Women's Sport recipient of the Press Brown Most Valuable Athlete Award is a native of Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, and is a member of the women's lacrosse team. As an attacker, she's earned four letters, has started every game of her college career, and is a team captain this season. She played in just six games as a rookie in 2020, but put up big offensive numbers, scoring 14 goals and adding seven assists en route to earning the WNL Most Outstanding First Year Award. Her 2021 season was a continuation of her first year, and it was a sign of things to come. She led the team with 69 points, the seventh most in a single season in program history, while garnering first-team All-ODAC, first-team All-Region, and second-team All-American honors. In her junior season last spring, she was once again the driving force for the WNL attack. She finished the team-best 77 points, thanks to 40 goals and 37 assists. Her 77 points are the fourth most in a single season in program history, and it helped her grab first-team All-ODAC and first-team All-Region citations, while also being named an IWLCA first-team All-American. Her senior campaign has only served to enhance her standing among the all-time greats in Washington and Lee women's lacrosse history. She's produced 36 goals and 27 assists for 63 points, while becoming just the sixth player in program history to surpass 200 career points. She was named the ODAC Offensive Player of the Year and became just the second player in WNL women's lacrosse history to record over 100 goals and 100 assists for her career. As a team, the Generals have compiled a 57-6 record over her four seasons, winning three ODAC championships and advancing to the NCAA Regional Semifinals in each of the last three seasons. She's part of the winningest senior class in WNL women's lacrosse history and has helped the Generals set the program record for wins in a season with 19 both last year and again this season. She sits third all-time in career assists with 105 and is currently tied for second in career points with 230, just eight away from tying the all-time program record. This year's Press Brown Most Valuable Women's Sport Athlete Award recipient is senior women's lacrosse player Ali Schwab. the second ever Athlete of the Year Award. Established just last year, the Athlete of the Year Award will be presented annually to the Washington and Lee student athlete who has achieved the most through athletic competition in a single academic year. Please direct your attention to the screen for the announcement of our award finalist and our 2022-23 Athlete of the Year. The finalists for the 2022-23 Athlete of the Year Award are Robert DeCibio, Men's Basketball, Ryan Luth, Wrestling, Mary Sleisner, Women's Basketball. The recipient of the second annual Athlete of the Year Award is a native of Milford, Connecticut, and is a member of the wrestling program. After producing a 78-8 record across his first three years, he entered his final season poised for another monster year on the mat. After taking the fall term off, he began his season at the Jim Kreitzer Invitational and started the year atop the podium at 157, notching two of his three wins by pin. He maintained that level of performance throughout the season, posting a 24-3 overall record, including six wins by fall and seven by major decision. 
He was the Old Dominion Athletic Conference champion at 157 pounds, turned first-team All-ODAC honors, while also being named the most outstanding wrestler of the championship. On top of winning his third individual conference championship, he finished third at the NCAA Southeast Regional, qualifying for the NCAA National Championship for the third time in his career. On the national stage, this general shined by producing a 4-2 record at nationals, including winning his 100th career match. He placed fifth overall in his weight class and earned All-America honors for the third time in his career, making him the only WNL wrestler ever to be a three-time All-American. This year's Athlete of the Year Award recipient also received the same award last year. It's senior wrestler Ryan Luth. Thank you, Provost Hill. A few things before we adjourn. First of all, you rock. Give yourselves a round of applause. We'd like to take a photo of all of our athletes, so as soon as we are done, if you could move into the stands, um, our athletics communication staff is going to take a picture of every student athlete. Um, major award winners, after the student athlete photo, if you would stay for additional photos, we'd appreciate it. And finally, there is dinner on Cannon Green for everyone here. Please join us to celebrate uh, as soon as we're done with our photos. A final word of thank you to each and every one of you for all you do. It was a fantastic year. We are adjourned. Go Generals! I'm going to direct from the microphone. You see the W in Washington and the Y in University? Try to be in between those. You see them? On the wall?